Jillian Roth tried in vitro fertilization five times without success, and it cost more than $50,000, a price she thinks no one should have to pay. There are people that can't afford to, to do any in vitros because the costs are so prohibitive. Her husband's on the advisory panel that's urging Ontario to follow Quebec's lead and start picking up the bill. It says Medicare should cover three in vitro treatments for women under 42 years old, including lesbians and would-be single moms. But critics argue it's too expensive. Individuals and families are hard-pressed to get on waiting lists for much more important medical services, and this should not be one of the top priorities for medical spending for governments. Supporters, though, say the cost will be more than covered by regulating the current system. The problem now, private clinics usually implant extra embryos to increase the odds of success, but that also produces more multiple births, like the eight kids born to the infamous Octomom in California. And because they're often premature, multiple babies need more expensive care. The panel says clinics should be forced to cut multiple birth rates from almost 30% to 10 over the next decade and estimates that will save Ontario up to $500 million. We can invest a portion of that money in um, subsidizing uh, fertility uh, cycles up to three uh, so that it's not simply a privilege of the rich. As well as funding for in vitro, the panel also wants an overhaul of the adoption system to make it easier to get children that way. The provincial government is now studying the recommendations. Roger Smith, CTV News, Ottawa.